Oh, no, no. Oh, what the fuck, G? Hey, yo, what's good, boys? Uh, so, this is the thing. Does anybody even remember the good old days of drifting an SLRR on a budget? Although, this really stopped being on a budget by the end. So, um, I kind of remember that this thing was a series and I found that I still have the SLRR that this was a series on and was like, why don't we go down memory lane because this is a memory. Why is this not connected to anything? I don't know. Because this is a memory. It's been however long, a few months, more than a few months, probably half a year since last time we had this on the channel. So um, why don't we see what these cars can still do? Let's fix this thing. $23 or fair enough. 87, 83, yeah, these tires are good. I'm not going to be changing them, so why don't we switch it today because it seems a bit nighty outside. And I'll go and choose a track. Let's see if this thing can still drift or if I can still drift. Because I don't know which is uh, less likely, me or the game. So, yeah, why don't we hit a Manami run? I mean, it kind of looks cool, the car. Very low. Very, very low. That intercooler is literally... It's literally scraping on the ground. And uh, also the drag tires really are not helping the situation. Considering this was supposed to be a drift car. Oh, of course, this, uh, this, 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 this circuit is bugged. It tries to go the other way. Oh, okay. Very wobbly. Well, so it's been a few... A few of almost a year, <laughs> half a year since the last time I tried to drift in this game. So, uh, bear in mind what we're about to see is uh, questionable driving. Okay, okay. Downshift. It's a tight section. Oh. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Steering input did not help there. God, imagine if cars actually drove like this. <laughs> Fucking no traction. Ooh. We're just spinning wheels. Extend the, extend the drift, downshift. Okay, this is not actually bad. Like, this this car is, is doing well right now. Damn, it's been a while, but... It seems I still... I can still... Oh, no. Yeah, I dropped a tire in the grass. Not that, it, the, not that the game can simulate grass physics. But still, that's my uh, that's my excuse. It's my excuse. Okay, this time I did not mount it the, the wall. Okay, can we? Ooh, okay, that was a bit. That was a bit of a jump. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that that was obvious, that was going to happen. Right, so can we get up to, uh, get up to speed a bit? Because this is a bit fucking downy. Yeah, once we start moving, like it's not... Oh, oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Guess we're still good, so... A bit of a tighter line, shallow line. A bit of a line that really does not go between the circuit lines. Okay, well, this lap has been abysmal. Look at my fucking cone filter. My god. Okay. Can we do it, boys? No. Oh, God. Again, very shallow, but we can extend it with an e brake. Call it it's a usable e brake, very rare in SLRR games. Should probably shift up. We've actually done a, a bunch of laps. I think I'm going to do a reverse lap so I can finish the race and get the money. Because this is budget drifting in street legal racing redline. After all, oh shit, downshifted to first, that's not good. Okay. Oh shit. I think this is the start, let me just do one of these. Oh, okay, well. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to do, but it's fine. <laughs> Still works. Reverse Ebisu. Very rare thing. Very, very rare thing. Bit of an uphill, uphill step. This is this feels tighter going the other way. Definitely. Feels a bit tighter. Oh boy. Okay, third gear. We need the speed now. 
We need speed and another one. And I'm gonna take this round. Hit the hit the E break, hit the E break, and then Ooh Ah shit, I lost it. I lost it right at the end. Right at the end. Right, the episode jump on the just going the other way, and there we go. Minus four thousand in crashes. We've made eight hundred and fifty dollars. Fair. <laughs> So the CTSV is nice to drift. Definitely feels like a nice car to drift. Let's see what is the next car. Oh lord. It is the Audi. God, I think the Audi was good at drifting. I think the Audi was good from what I recall. But it, it was good because it was all wheel drive. <laughs> I think it had like something something of the sorts of a uh, 60, not 60, like a 10% going to the front wheels or something. 10 or 5%, yeah, 1% going to the front wheels, 1%, but that's 1% out of how many horses? 1% out of 620 is incalculatable, incalculable, incalculable, I don't know, mate. 1k, fair enough. All right, let's see the Audi in action. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do a run on the thing, on the map that started all of this, if it fucking loads. Right, oh, uh, this is where it all started. And I think this car is best suited for this track. Definitely, oh my god, can you see it? No. Yes, lads, this is more like it. This is... The car is much more well suited to this place than, than to the other. Oh, no, no. Oh, what the fuck, G? Well, that was not expected. What, what, what happened to the guy inside the car? Alright, he's a bit, a bit won wonked. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, still still savageable run. Yeah, look at this. No, 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 e break, e break. Because of the big turbo, it's very hard to throttle control this car, but it's still doable. Dude, if we had an e-brake, goddamn all your drive e-brakes, because they're real. They're obviously a thing, especially in Audi TT drift cars. With all your drive e brake, you're all the brake. Oh! Fuck, jump. <laughs> yes, lad. It's good. It's good, I swear, man. It's good. Yeah, I love driving the Audi. It's very fun. Ooh, shit, this thing was a fucking beauty. The Lotus Carlton. The Lotus Carlton featuring a 2JZ, right? Lotus Carlton featuring a 2JZ. Stocky 2A 2JZ. Fair enough, yeah, I could have done that. Four grand, 4.5 grand to fix it. God damn, what the fuck did I do to this car? Shit, we need... Ezel Tunis. Do I have a drift tire? 245.25, this is 255.19, shit. Of course, fucking hell, I remember this. God damn it. It seems I found a different kind of drift tire. I couldn't find the 245.25, 18s. I found... What? Yo, they fucking changed. Yo, what the fuck, dude? This is, I fucking swear it said 255. Hey, uh... Uh, dude, I, I don't know. I don't give a fuck, dude. Let's let's go and test the Carlton out somewhere. The question is where? Take a hero hill. Yes. No, from the top to the bottom. <laughs> okay. Let's see me falling off right immediately off the mountain. Why is it lagging like this? God damn it! I swear, I swear. Come on, lad. 
Very bouncy, this. <laughs> Dude, this is not working, is it now? I think we need some softer suspension. I'm just bouncing up and down, G. Oh my god. I said, didn't I, didn't I select going from the top to the bottom? Why am I going upwards? I don't know. Yes, Lloyd just come. Yes, this is not a track. This is just not. Hey yo, shout out to Nico Circuit. Let's go. At least it's a good fucking track. Which is exactly what we what we need for this good car. Because I remember this was a good car. I also remember this annoying beeping, dude. Holy shit, whoever decided this was a good idea. Rev limiter beeping was a is a mongrel, I swear. You're not a human. You're genuinely not a human. I mean, the car is very controllable. It's just that for a 2JZ, we are struggling to get over 100 kilometers. That sounded like breakup. Like that sounded like there was a coil pack issue there. Oh, missed it, missed it. If we had a bit more luck, we could have uh, we could have gone wild there. But I stopped using the lock mod. Fucking years ago. Oh, I only enable one lap. Let's go for another one. Damn, G, this thing looks fucking nice. <laughs> I just, oh, this car looks so good. Right, let's do some role playing then. We're leaving the, we're leaving the pits. Why am I so far away from the car? Can I get a bit closer? Thank you. Well, we need to check that nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. Mm. I, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so the game just kind of crashed in the end there. So that's fuck. That's okay. And we're back to the OG, the first car, the car that we first owned, the S13, which makes absolutely no sense when you think of, think in the cost, context of budget drifting and S, budget drifting, and you buy an S13 coupe. That's not budget. <laughs> you can't really find these for a cheap cheap now. Better get an E36 or something, you know. But I digress. Let's see if this thing can move. I think it would be best if we drive this car where it all started. With the car that it all started. Although we are repeating Shinjuku, I think it's a fair, fair thing to do. Because this is the beginning of it all. Okay, we have a lot of understeer. <laughs> wow, that was a very... Nice hit to the front end there. It's okay, we're we are rich, so it doesn't matter. Oh, under steering. Oh oh, and then a flick of the wrist. Yeah, this car is for what it's worth. This car is controllable. It's a bit stiff on the front end, like it likes to stiffen up and straighten out. Okay. Oh, this doesn't. I don't think this has a good e-brake. Shit, I think only the CTSV has good e-brake mechanics, but this might not have one. I'm going to check. Oh no, maybe it does. I don't know. Okay, well, it was not the most optimal time to check, 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 check. This poor SR20. If it is an SR20, I think it probably is, man. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, yeah, look at the understeer. We gotta work on the understeer. Not that I'm gonna. In theory, under understeer is what this car's problem is. No. Yeah, I missed it. Oh, I lost it. Lost it there. Mm. Got too happy on the throttle. Under steer, under steer, over steer now. Yes. Yeah, I, I think that the e brake's not good on this, because the car goes forward when you engage the e brake, like it doesn't. It doesn't it doesn't spin the car around it just makes it go forward slowly oh shit goddamn understeer this car has a ton of understeer like a ton like more than the all-wheel drive Audi it's candy flick hard on a rev limiter oh hard in the wall
unusable gears as well. Probably need a better ratio, it seems. Understeer. God fucking damn it, this thing has tons of understeer. Which makes no sense considering where the engine is. It's behind the axles. It's my. Oh, uh, uh, understeer again. You gotta be really careful with the understeer. You know, you need to move the car and wait it. You know, to compensate for the upcoming understeer. Like that, you need to really flick it around. Oh, wow, well, yeah, that was a big miscalculation on my end. Now I have a magical bumper. And then a flick. Oh, yes, that's good. Fourth gear? I don't know. Yeah, fourth gear is not the gear. Fourth gear is not the gear for me. And then we flick it a wrist again. Oh, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Yes. Yes, G. Ford gear. No, I lost it with a Ford gear. Not enough power. Shit, I shouldn't have gone for Ford gear, mate. Oh. Okay, yes. Not enough. Oh, I should have committed more air. Because the front end then just died. And then another one. And then another flick. Oh, close to the wall. And I actually hit the wall. And I lost. Somehow lost. Well, I lost something. Well. So, this was Drifting an SLRR. It's been a very long time, and I do hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see something more like this, uh, do tell. What the fuck? It has a V8. <laughs> Why doesn't this have an SR? Why the fuck does it have a V8? AOG, what the fuck did I do? An LS7. No, this is blasphemy. Why the fuck do I have this in the car? Fucking whatever. God damn it, that's sad. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.